What's up everybody, I'm Josh Elkin and today the day has finally come. The day where I make birria tacos. But not just any birria tacos. Instead of goat, because I couldn't find it, I'm using beef to make beef birria tacos. Let's get on with the recipe. As I said, I couldn't really find any goat, but I really wanted to try my hand in making this birria inspired dish. So I'm using two cuts of meat. We got short rib and boneless chuck roast. Before I get started, I want to explain to you guys that I'm using a pressure cooker to make this birria. I find that the pressure cooker really reduces the amount of time it takes to braise this meat. And for this specific recipe, it works perfectly. But before putting the meat in the pressure cooker, it's important and imperative to sear all the sides of the meat and get that carbon caramelization start. While the meat rests before adding it to the pressure cooker and the fawn leftover from the meat is in this pan, I'm going to use these onions to deglaze and suck up all that flavor. It's all eventually going in the pressure cooker, like I said. So in this pot, I got some sauteed onions with some tomato paste and some garlic. We're gonna just combine it all together and then add some beef stock. For this recipe, I'm using three different peppers. And my rule of three usually means if it's got three different types of one item, it's a guaranteed banger. And spoilers, this is an incredible recipe. So we got some guajillo peppers, a little bit of chili de arbo, and some ancho chilies. I'm also making a spice packet using a coffee coffee filter. I'm going to add some bay leaves, oregano, dried thyme, marjoram, and some cumin seeds. Once the chilies have combined with all the ingredients and they've softened, I'm going to transfer all of this to an Instant Pot and then add the meat and start the pressure. And for the cheese for this birria taco experience, I'm using Oaxaca cheese, which is basically a Mexican version of string cheese. And to be honest with you, if you've never tried this before, it's going to change your relationship you've had with stringy, melty cheese. And in the time that I just said that, the meat is good to go. I'm going to extract the meat from the juices and that juice by the way that's the consomme i'm going to strain that and use it as flavor and later for dipping speaking of which i just submerged this tortilla in that consomme and added it to a hot frying pan and to the entire surface of that, I'm adding a bunch of Oaxaca cheese and letting it cook and letting it melt. In the interim of that, I'm shredding up this beef, which by the way, looks incredible, and placing it on one side of the tortilla. Then I'm gonna add some onions and some chopped up cilantro and close out this bad boy. And oh my goodness, beef birria queso tacos. Look at this. Look at this viral sensation. The coolest part about birria for me is the byproduct being a sauce. I really enjoy that. I really enjoy being able to take something that would otherwise not be a dipping sauce and turn it into a dipping sauce. Check this out. Yeah. There is a reason that birria is so popular. You have this soaked tortilla stuffed with a super melty and stretchy cheese, Oaxacan cheese, filled with a braised beef situation that rivals any beef dip. You need to try this at least once in your life. And if you don't have a taco truck that makes it, you should make it on your own by clicking the link in the description down below. I'm just gonna marvel in the insanely deliciousness of this while you watch a slow fade out. Bye.